<clears throat> so at the moment, <clears throat> we're doing what we normally do, which is um, hiding. So when we're invested, we're hiding in the kind of IT, FMCG, um, telecom, um, and selective pharma. That's where you need to hide uh, when markets are you know, kind of being volatile as they are. I think going forward, though, Niraj, as we kind of just come through this, <clears throat> See, for example, um, I don't know about you, but uh, you know, would I am I going to travel overseas until all of this kind of, you know, um, you know, in terms of whether you can come back, what tests you need, you know, lockdowns, no lockdowns. I'm going to wait till that happens. So I'm going to spend, if anything, I'm going to just kind of travel around in India, and obviously a lot more people than me are going to do that. So I think the the the, the reopening, whether it's the hotels, um, leisure. Anything to do with travel within India, I think it's going to be the place to be. And it's not just India, I think it's going to be globally as well. I don't, you know, if I'm in the UK, I'm just not going to go anywhere apart from locally uh, for, for at least the first quarter. So therefore, I think, you know, that's a, a theme that will play out. Now, timing on that uh, is obviously a little bit kind of um, variable because, you know, is Omicron going to take hold in India? We, we, we're not sure yet, but if it's not taken hold by kind of, you know, late January, February, then you know, maybe we can start to see that that theme play out. I think the other themes that we're looking at you know, going into into the into the new year would be obviously the continuation of digitization. I've been doing quite a bit of work on this metaverse, and it's just a, it's just a, you know it's just it's just a massive concept uh, which I think will uh, will, will take off. And obviously, that needs not just five G, needs six G, needs lot, lots of things. But that's going to be developed very quickly, I think. Um, so I think the telecom sector is going to be a big beneficiary of, of all of this. Um, I'll be looking at some of the IPOs which have listed or will list in these volatile markets because you know, you get some good entry points when markets um, you know, are volatile and, and, and obviously people can see some good profits in, in, in some of these IPOs or they don't list as, 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 uh, as, uh, with a premium as, as people were expecting maybe a month ago or two weeks ago. Um, so those, that, those are the other companies we'll be looking at. Um, and I think, you know, anything to do, and I'm saying about infrastructure, but I don't know how to play it so, so well. So I'm going to look at the material side of, 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 um, of playing that, you know, whether it's real estate or, you know, building a new factory. Someone's got to provide steel and, and, and cement and, and so forth. Um, so I'm going to look at those because, you know, whilst it's easy, it's easy to look at the kind of L&Ts, the VHLs and so forth. But you know, it's all about execution and it just takes a long time uh, for, for them to, to get through. So, you know, I look at these stocks only in terms of, I think the share price follows order flows and not necessarily it follows the execution part of it because it's usually, you know, uh, doesn't happen as quickly as we would hope. So those are the kind of things I'd be looking at. And of course, IT will, will continue to be a, have the tailwinds and I think Select Pharma will continue to have the tailwinds. Thank you.